Jason Waller here, CEO of Power Home Solar, host of Top 3 Podcasts, True Underdog. I can't believe it's been 20 years since 9-11, 2001, when terrorists actually attacked our country and thousands of people were killed. And the first responders responded in an American way that they know how to. They went up there and, and risked their own life. Hundreds, thousands of them did to get people out of that building. And we all remember where we were that day. There's a few days in history that we all can go, oh, I remember where I was when that happened. You know, I wasn't alive when we landed on the moon, but the day that that resonates most with me as, as a vital memory of where I was the moment that that happened was 9-11. I was actually uh, in the upside down gold building in Independence Boulevard in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I worked for a company at the time called M Power, selling frame relay and point to point data. And I was in there with a gentleman from Pakistan who owned a travel agency. And I was trying to sell him data lines. And uh, he was a very nice gentleman. We were friends, we were chatting, and he had the television on. And I remember him saying, oh my goodness, a plane just crashed into the World Trade Center. And he thought, because the stock market maybe was down the day before, that you know maybe the pilot lost money. Like he was semi-kidding, but semi like not in disbelief, not understanding what happened. And so we were looking at it and we were like, maybe there's an error, maybe something happened, it's weird. And as we were watching it unfold, when the second plane hit, we knew there was a problem. And so I freaked out and uh, he's like, you should probably leave, figure out what's going on, that I think America's under attack. I remember getting in my car. I had an interview later that day with Verizon Wireless that I didn't go to. I completely forgot that I had the interview. And I called my wife who was home with our first daughter at the time. And I had, it was a cell phone I had. It was a big Sprint flip phone. You remember the old ones. And I remember driving home, calling her, and I lived in Concord. And while I was talking to her, she was freaking out. She said, oh my goodness, another plane just hit the Pentagon. And I remember looking out my car window and seeing planes land very fast at, at the airport here in Charlotte. And I remember them talking about on the local radio that Charlotte was one of the destinations that they thought terrorists would hit because it was a top banking city. So I was freaking out. I was hyperventilating, driving home, trying to figure out, am I going to be okay? Is our family going to be okay? What does America look like now? How many people are hurt? I mean, just upset, bawling, driving. Got to the house, upset, turned on the TV. We were glued for almost two days just watching the devastation. And my heart goes out, my prayers still go out to the family members of everybody that lost somebody, whether it was someone that went to work that day or someone that was, you know, in that plane that day or somebody who had a first responder. You know, some people got sick from all the smoke and have passed on that. And my prayers and condolences go to those folks and families as well. That I mean, this is, it's been 20 years and it's still chilling to think and see how that went down and you know i'm so glad that we we had some justice brought uh that we did as a country and i felt like after that happened our country was really bonded together and it's unfortunate that it took a catastrophe like that to happen to bring us all together and i i think this message is important as we're going to our 20th anniversary of 9 11 to really find a way to bond together to get back to being americans together because that's what it's really about and uh, I appreciate everyone following us and supporting us here at Power Home Solar and True Underdog Podcast. And thank you for hearing my story about 9-11. Bam!